guys, it's Megan here with Megabuck Savings. Today I'm going to share with you guys a Goodwill bin or Goodwill outlet haul. And then I'm also going to share a Goodwill haul as well that I did. I just went and got a few different things from both of the places for, um, for one, for work purposes. Um, just kind of getting some fall things ready for myself because I am starting a new job that I'm very excited about and um, for two just wanted to kind of get a few things I'm always looking for different types of toys or shoes or clothes or um, home accessories and things like that I have a eBay shop that I've just now started and just in less than 90 days, I have made an extra $200. And I know that includes um, the price of the product and the shipping as well. And it doesn't deduct the actual overall um, amount that eBay takes out. But I think that is a pretty fair amount for the prices that I spend at the Goodwill bins versus what I'm flipping and reselling at. And so, one thing I do want to mention that in the last 90 days, I definitely have um, not calculated the same as eBay has. So they just calculate the 90 days um, of what you made, but it's definitely been within the last 60 days. So I definitely think that's a great increase of sale or flipping the item that I bought you know reselling the item and so this is all new to me and I've been thinking about it for a long time because I do other resale things I've done big wheels to butterflies in the past I've done consignment sales I've done I've done garage sales um, other things like that just like Facebook marketplace as well and just selling like bundles of clothes or you know home accessories or home furniture and things like that this is just a different type of resale that i'm doing which i'm trying to navigate and figure out my average that i have been spending at the goodwill bins when i'm doing resale is an average of about two dollars per item and i keep most of my goodwill bins or outlet i don't even know what you want to call it I'm just gonna call it Goodwill bins because that's what they are when you go in there you're digging through Goodwill bins my resale is basically purchasing that haul or both of the hauls or what have you so I think I'm doing pretty good so with that said I'm gonna share with you guys my Goodwill Haul. So the first thing that I found was these New Balance sneakers. They did have the laces in them, but if you can see here, the laces are coming apart. And so I don't know if I'm going to try to figure out a way to refurbish these um, and relace them or just buy new laces. After I clean them up, they're super stinking cute. And I do like a little kind of used New Balance shoe anyway because I just like how they kind of, I don't know, it kind of reminds me, I know this is silly, but for Forrest Gump, the movie, um, how he runs in the shoes and they're kind of worn down, but that kind of reminds me of these shoes and it's stinking cute. And again, so I think I might relace these and try to fix these, but if you guys have any tips or tricks regarding repairing some laces definitely leave that in the comments below but i think i'm going to try to find something because i definitely would like to reuse the same laces that came with the shoes next pair of shoes that i found were these adidas tennis shoes i found these other adidas shoes these are old navy shoes i'm going to show you with guys the next haul that I have here that I'm going to flip on eBay and there's just a couple of items I think there's only like three items in here maybe four but my rule of thumb is to buy something that 
somebody is obsessed with buying. So my idea is starting with shoes, and that would be Converse, Vans, Nikes, Adidas, Birkenstocks. And so those are the ones that I'm starting out shoe-wise. They're Converse shoes in a size 11 men's. They're unisex shoes as well. So these are a great selling item. Um, these cleaned up really nicely and um, they're actually in really good condition. They were at the Goodwill bins and um, I cleaned up the shoelaces separately as well and relaced them. And so I'm reselling those on eBay. As of now, I go ahead and clean them up as quickly as possible and get them right up to eBay um, as quickly as possible so I can resell that item. I got these Converse, which I think are like a size seven in women's and maybe like an eight or a nine in men's. I forget what the men's transition is. They're also unisex and they are just a great staple piece. They're the, again, the Converse All-Star, which I didn't think I don't think I mentioned in a prior shoe as well, but I think these will resell fairly quickly. And then the last item that I know I'm going to sell on eBay are these vans, and these are just like a traditional van, and um, they're in the gray color, and I washed the laces as well and relaced them but they cleaned up really nicely and I also cleaned the bottoms as well when I'm reselling because I would want the pre-owned item as clean as possible when I'm reselling my items on eBay or even just in a consignment sale or marketplace or whatever. I'm trying to resell at the top price that I can do when selling the item. I do think that I'm going to keep this but I am debating on reselling it as well. So I'm pretty much done with baby stage stuff and doesn't mean that I can't have future baby stuff um, for whatever life has in my way, but I think that I am gonna keep this because it's a really great item, but it is a Alabu um, carrier and it's in the color black and it has these kind of like brown little straps but i mean there's tons of people that do youtube videos and sharing the way you wear them a mom that i watch on youtube it's um her name is lisa on the farmhouse on boone i've linked a couple of her videos um, in the descriptions of other videos that i have and um, I do think this is a great item. I already cleaned it up. In fact, I could smell the laundry detergent on it, but um, it just kind of looks like this. It's kind of the only way I can describe what it looks like. I'm not going to put it on because I'm not in the need to put it on right now. About, I don't know, anywhere from 20 to $25. Um, these are really nice little, nice little baby carriers. I also have this puzzle that I got from the Goodwill and just the regular Goodwill and I made sure all the pieces were in it. It does have a little bite mark on it, but that's okay. We have toys that are have little bite marks on it. It does look like a dog bite on this one, but it was the only one that had it. And so I cleaned this up already and my son's already waiting for it. his puzzles and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let him play with it. I did get this Melissa and Doug farmhouse puzzle. He is getting into these type of puzzles. They all were separately wrapped and they had like a little the um, seal, but not stick saran wrap. I don't know what that's called, like the press and seal. And so it didn't ruin it. I was so happy about that because typically the Goodwill puts um, masking tape on things or just like hardcore packing tape and so it peels off the um pictures on things i did get this puzzle as well it does have the other piece but my son's already been playing with this so i was not about to scrounge around my house trying to find this little piece and i'm really hoping that i find it because it's like the magic of the missing piece that goes either in the couch cushions you never know what happened to it um, you know clothes like that end up somewhere missing when they go in the clean like the wash or the dryer it's just like that one item that you just never know what happens to it and 
That being said, I just got this puzzle and it's already missing an item and I have no idea what, where it is. I found these cool little like over the picture lights. I don't know what they're called, but I found two of them in this haul and I don't know if they work because I still have to buy a light bulb that, fix, that fits in here. And so I found this one. And then I found this one as well. I thought this was a really good buy because it was about a buck 37, or I usually round up and do about two bucks an item because I feel like everything's about a pound these days. And then I am going to dissect this little thing that I found at the Goodwill bins. For me, it's thinking about what I would buy these for brand new. They run for anywhere honestly depending on the type of the product and where you buy it could be about three bucks to five bucks an item or even up to like 25 bucks per hook it was on this like light piece of wood it's not even a real wood it's like if you can hear it it's like a plastic and it still had the um nail holes in it as well which is fine like i couldn't remove them because they still even had like the drywall hooks in there which I don't know how they were able to pull that all out that was a little crazy to me but I'm sure this is probably like a Hobby Lobby or a Walmart piece or something like that but you can't even buy um, coat hooks or hooks like these um, for the whole thing for less than 10 bucks anyway so for me buying this under two dollars or maybe about two dollars or two fifty I thought this was a no-brainer. So if you are ever going to the Goodwill or Goodwill bins, take into consideration of not looking at maybe the whole piece and thinking like, yeah, I don't like that because of the wood piece it's on or the plastic piece, I don't like plastic. Taking a consideration of what it would be to have four hooks that you can remove with a screwdriver and completely throw the other piece out or repurpose it or whatever and having your hooks because the hooks that I have in my basement um, entryway that I have I have a video I'll link it below but those brackets were literally five bucks a piece that was 20 bucks and I do feel like that was a waste of money for me because I'm so budget conscious frugal and just like to spend little out of pocket as possible and I really like like regretted buying that but I love them as well so, so going over to the Goodwill I bought this work jacket and it's kind of like a brownish gray color and so I got that I got this black sweater and it's a really nice material and it's a size medium in Avia and it's still in extremely great shape. I did get this black cardigan. I also got by Christopher and Banks this blue little blouse and then I did get this Target. It's like a new day sweater and I thought this was just a great staple to have on hand. I also got this Eddie Bauer turtleneck and it's kind of a little bit longer but not too much longer so um, it is a three-quarter length this is a great universal piece that you can tuck in or leave out as well with some leggings um, you can have it with pair it with a skirt or things like that but it's really soft I'm super um, irritable when it comes to sweaters so they have to be super soft they can't be wool or anything like that a um, brand new tech with tags item on it and I did end up spending $7.99 on it, which was a little bit more than I would want to spend. But I think this will be great for next summer. It is by, um, the brand is Cotton Blue. And so I did pick up that. And so that completes my haul. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, again, give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Bye.